Welcome back to Acosta's Anatomy. Let's take a quick look at sperm anatomy as well as spermatogenesis. So what's here at the bottom? This is what's known as a spermatozoa or a sperm cell. So this is the mature form and some of the basic anatomy. This here is the head. This is the neck. This is the midpiece or it's also known as the body. And then over here you have the tail. So within the tail, this is what's known as the on the inside, this is the microtubules. So you have all of these microtubules here, and then within the midpiece, you have these mitochondria. So the mitochondria, this is what's uh, going to help with the inner meet the energy demands in order for the motility or the movement of this tail to power these microtubules that are here on the inside. So then here within the head, you have the acrosome. So this is the acrosome and this is what helps to penetrate the secondary oocyte or the ovum. So then if we look at the development, so I've already said this is a mature form. So then this is what's known as the late spermatid. So one of the characteristic features of the late spermatid is this excess cytoplasm that's here on the outside. You can still see the tail, you can see the midpiece, you can see the neck, and then this is the nucleus, and then here at the top, this is the acrosome. So then if you follow it back in the, in the development, so we'll come back this way until we get to the early spermatid. So here within the early spermatid, there's not that characteristic tail, but you do see the nucleus here. So that's there. And then you can also see, uh, this is what's known as the acrosome granule. So the acrosome granule, that's what's shown here. It's starting to um, further develop until it becomes uh, fully mature. And then the last part is this here at the top. This is the Golgi complex.